looking at the two of these clowns next to one another and just seeing the differences, I honestly feel like if I saw the 1990s version in my house, I would just tell him, man, if you don't get your ass out of here, you ain't even scary. What the heck is up you guys, Animated Heroes here back with another action figure review for you today. And as you can see, we're going to be taking a look at the NECA 1990 IT Pennywise figure. And I've been waiting on this figure for quite some time, so let's dive right into it. Now starting out with that packaging, you got Tim Curry as Pennywise right there. This they took directly from the movie, and I dig that. You got it right there, the movie. On the side, nothing much. Same thing going on over here as the front, except at the bottom you got NECA Real Toys right there. Same thing going on on this side. On the inside, this is what is amazing. You got an image of him right there. I love that. And of course you got the figure inside and honestly i can't wait to bust this guy open so on the back of course you got some poses that you can get him into nothing much on the bottom stuff that doesn't matter nothing much on the top of the same image so yeah ready to bust this guy out because i have waited for this figure for a long time now straight out of the packaging i gotta say there are some things i really do like about this figure and there are some things that i don't like about this figure and hopefully the things that i don't like are just strictly pertaining to my figure. Now, the first thing I don't like is how they did the feet, simply because hopefully this is just mine, but the feet are warped. I can't, I don't know if you guys have the same issue. I hope none of you do, but um, his right foot is like tilting this way. So basically trying to stand him, it's always gonna look like he's leaning to the side somewhat. And I cannot stand that. I put it in hot water hope that it would do something but it won't and i was thinking that the feet are on a ball peg i still kind of think that they are but i don't know and i don't want to risk it and break this because this figure was 30 bucks and i'm not spending that again because i don't like this version of pennywise that much now another issue that i have and i know this is more than likely just mine there's a black spot in the middle of the forehead right there i tried to scratch that off and it won't come off but the main issue the main issue is this right here on the nose there's just like it looks like they scraped off the red paint and all you can see is white where it was molded in that color so that's an issue with mine i hope you guys don't have that and i really doubt a lot of you get that issue but um other than that everything else looks really nice just gonna be honest the paintwork for the most part really nice um one thing i love is how they did the vest you see all these flowers and I guess plants or whatever it is on there they just look really nice the hair everything just the face skull it's all there the outfit and i haven't watched this version of the movie so for the people who are gonna watch this video and be like oh no it's this oh no it's that i have not seen this version i was born in 1993 the movie came out in 1990 i didn't even know about it until the 2000 something i was not going to go back and watch an old movie now the 2017 version was my most favorite movie of 2017 but after watching something so good with very good special effects and all that i'm not interested in going back and watching a movie 20 years earlier that's just me personally so pennywise fans don't attack me now anyway let's go ahead and put this guy back and see how tall he stands now to the top of his head tim curry stands just a little bit under seven inches and of course if you guys have seen the other pennywise review the 2017 version you guys know that he stands a lot taller than this guy and if you haven't seen that already i will be doing some size comparisons later now let's go ahead and move on to that articulation relation wise if you haven't guessed it you're not going to get much out of the neck at all he looks up about that much he looks down really well, which is a good thing, but that's about as much as you get. He does have a little bit of tilt, and you can turn the head all the way around, but it's going to be scruffing up against this right here. And I don't recommend doing that because you will probably get some of that red paint on this white, which is not a good thing. Now, his arms go out about that much without forcing it of course they do have a swivel in there you can turn it all the way around now one thing i do like is how they did the elbows they bend mine is fresh out of the package so let's see what we can get out of these there we go i know they bend really well now look at that that is nice but what's also cool is that there's a swivel on both ends not one but both ends of the elbow so you can you can pose that pretty well now at the hands of course 
you can turn them just about however you want they don't go up and down very much which i wish they did but that's about all you get out of those he does have a diaphragm joint but it's seemingly useless you really can't do much with that at all he crunches forward that much crunches back that much he does turn just a little but posing and turn like this the lines and the bells aren't going to add up so it's going to look really weird for the most part his foot goes out let's see about that much and as you guys can see this is a separate piece and depending on how you have that it can look really ugly they do go back about that much which that's pretty decent they go out whoa whoa nani more than i thought they were going to that that's cool I'm, I'm okay with that i really like that there is a slight swivel in there i believe i don't know i don't think that's supposed to be a swivel so i'm not even gonna try to swivel that but um you can a little bit if you choose to now his knees bend about that much and of course as you can see we got the dragon ball effect going on right there with the 1.0 figures where you can see the inside of his legs so yeah that's a little ugly there is no swivel down here and the foot you you can't really do anything with these you can't do anything with the foot at all on either of mine of course you can turn it left and right but that's about it so but the feet don't expect much at all now for accessories he comes with his i'm going to eat you face which is creepy as hell but they sculpted this so well he comes with this laughing face, which I really dig. Something about this is creepy, but I like it. I will be using this face a lot in posing him. And the one I really think they did the best. Also, before I even show this one off, he comes with his angry face straight out of the packaging. I like that one. I really do. But this one has to be the best sculpted. Like I remember seeing the preview of when he got burned with the battery acid. And the way that they did this, they sculpted this, it looks really nice. As you guys can see, I got a red splotch on mine. I scratched it off and, well, some of it, but I'm thinking the rest is going to come off. But man, this, this face is nice. They did a really good job on this one. He comes with his, I believe, werewolf hands. I don't know if I'm wrong. Correct me in the comments. I know you got someone who will. He comes with hands for holding the balloon. As you can see, he also comes with a pair of relaxed hands. He comes with a pointing finger. He comes with his noisemaker from the library, which it's a surprise they gave him this one because this didn't really play a big role in the movie. But yeah, it's cool they gave it to him. Now, what caught me off guard the most was this. I was not expecting this, but I'm happy. It's a piece of paper, but it's folded into Georgie's boat. And as you guys can see, sorry about hitting the camera, by the way, you can kind of folded around a little bit but this i was not expecting because it wasn't in the promo images but i'm glad they included it now lastly he comes with and i'm just going to show all of these off at once all these balloons he comes with red white orange two yellow which is probably the popular color blue and green and i know for a fact it's going to be hard to pose him with these because they're probably going to start falling all over the place after a while moving right along now for some size comparisons, here he is standing next to the NECA regular Pennywise and of course the GameStop exclusive. Both of these are the 2017 versions and I don't know if you guys ever saw those memes where it says this is you and this is the guy she tells you not to be afraid of. Yeah, that's what's going on in this situation. Next up here he is standing next to the SH Figure Arts Dark Knight Rises Joker, SH Figure Arts Suicide Squad Joker, and of course the Mafex Suicide Squad Joker. And that's just to show him off next to a couple other clowns. Lastly, here he is standing next to the Mafex, Justice League, Batman, and Superman. And as you guys can see, he's really not that much taller than them. So if you want to be like me, you can pose Pennywise in photos with six inch figures. Now, one piece of advice with this guy, I have heard that NECA is known for breaking. So if you want to change the heads, I highly recommend that the first time you do so, you put this guy in some hot water for a little while because the head and hands will be difficult to change. Just a heads up. Now, my final thoughts on this creepy clown that a lot of people were scared of for whatever reason. I like it. I really do like it. Like I said, it does have some issues, mostly in standing. And hopefully that's just mine. If you guys do decide to get this guy, I hope you don't have the same issue. Other than that, I mean, there's a few paint errors in the white, but it's nothing that it seems like I can't scratch off. I can praise this figure all day. There are some things that hinder the articulation, but I mean, look at this suit. It's it's 
just going to happen because of the design of this figure and because of the outfit. It's just, it's going to happen. So for a lot of people who are worried about the articulation being hindered, that's a problem that really can't be helped. But for the most part, you can do just about whatever you want with this guy. I mean, it's not like you're going to see him in any Bruce Lee fighting poses anyway. This guy's job is to scare and eat children. So, I mean, for the most part, like I said, you can do whatever you want with him. But I got to say, head sculpts, dead on perfect paint sculpt on the outfit love it love it i honestly can't think bad about this figure it does have a few issues but nothing severe nothing that i would say should stop anyone from getting it if you like pennywise i highly recommend picking this up if you got the 2017 version go ahead and get this one just to add to your collection i mean it's 30 bucks and the fun factor is there that's the number one for me fun factor is there accessories are there posability is there there's just a whole lot of good things about this figure and i could go on praising it all day but i'm not i feel like i got my point across so with that said this is my review hope you guys enjoyed it if so don't forget to give it a thumbs up that always helps me out subscribe to my channel if you haven't already what are you doing if you haven't already hit that bell icon as well to be notified when i upload new videos because y'all know youtube be tripping and if you want more content from me, don't forget to follow everything you see in the description below. As always, I will see you later. Peace.